Hey folks, just want to give a quick update. Um, tomorrow is hopefully going to be the first day of school for uh, the Little Singer Community School. And uh, I'm just really, really excited about it. Looking forward to it. I uh, have a really good lineup of teaching assistants that are going to be zooming in with me. And uh, I realized that I hadn't yet spoken in this whole blog vlog series yet about our plans for the fall semester. Um, Tom and I met uh, a few times in July uh, during his one month of, <laughs> of, uh, of holiday. And uh, we had some really good conversations about what we thought worked well, what we thought didn't work well, uh, what we'd like to change for the upcoming fall. One of the main changes is that uh, we are branching out from just Spike Prime uh, robotics kits. We started and focused on that because it was easy for us at the CEO. Uh, we have strong uh, relationships with LEGO Education and the LEGO Foundation, and we happen to have a whole lot of kits. Um, <laughs> so we were able to send them some kits and we've been working with them pretty much exclusively on Spike Prime LEGO Robotics. Um, but we want to branch out. We want to keep things interdisciplinary at all times, and we want to be able to introduce these fifth and sixth graders to as many different kinds of tech that we can, you know, get their hands on. So we're going to continue with Spike Prime, both with the block coding, which is based on Scratch, but we also want to branch out into maybe touching some MicroPython, uh, which is available uh, on the Spike Prime. Uh, we also want to do Scratch itself, just Scratch on the computer, you know, which will be very helpful, I believe, when the students are at home and they don't have access to as many resources as they would in the classroom. Um, so we're going to be doing that. We floated around the idea of working with some Arduino microcontrollers and some Raspberry Pis, you know, just doing uh, the basic electronics I think would be super fun. And uh, he has some drone kits and he also has some water testing quality kits uh, that I think are going to be really cool. There's a big focus on environmental science um, that we're constantly trying to pull into what we're doing here. So um, really looking forward to kind of branching out into some more stuff. And um, I'm also kind of changing up how I'm documenting the process. Hope to be doing a whole lot more of these videos and also keeping track of, you know, our schedules. The number one thing that I foresee us continuing to struggle with will be just time management um, inside the class. We only get 90 minutes you know, th you know, four days a week with them, and we're going to fill that time really quickly. And also being able to meet with Tom outside of the school day just to coordinate and plan anything is really challenging because he's extremely busy. I know from my past experiences as a classroom teacher, classroom teachers are extremely busy all the time. Uh, so, so finding time to meet and plan will probably be a challenge. Um, the uncertainty due to COVID is going to continue to be a challenge. Right now, we're talking about doing a, a sort of hybrid program where the kids are at home some weeks and in the classroom other weeks, you know, and that's going to have a huge impact on our instruction. You know, a couple months from now, instruction might look very different. So these are the kind of things that all classroom teachers have to deal with and have been dealing with uh, f since the pandemic started. And they're all very tired. If you know any teachers, please give them a hug, give them gift certificates to their favorite restaurants, and <laughs> do whatever you can to help them out because stuff has been hard this last year and a half. But that's how it is, and we're gonna get through it. And I'm really excited because Tom is an amaze balls teacher. All right, his students are awesome, and the school little singer is extremely awesome, and I'm so looking forward to working with them again. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous amount of fun. So, yeah, um, I'll check in probably in a week or so, and hopefully now that I have this easy access to making vlog posts, I'll be more regularly checking in about what we're doing and how curriculum is going and uh, the, the bright spots and the not-so-bright spots of moving forward with trying to co-create this uh, you know, this culturally meaningful and academically effective engineering curriculum. It's really exciting on all fronts. So uh, hope everybody here has a good weekend and I'll see you later on.